question for Des McNulty. To ask the Scottish Executive on what basis it was decided that services to and from Mullen Islay should not be included in the pilot of the road equivalent tariff scheme recently announced by the Minister for Transport, Infrastructure and Climate Change. Stuart Stevenson. Mr Smitty announced details of the road equivalent tariff study during his visit to Stornoway on the 13th of August 2007. That announcement made it clear that we would carry out a study into RET in the context of ferryfares in Scotland and that it would include a pilot exercise on one or more of the Western Isles to mainland routes. I'm pleased to say that we are able to include all of the Western Isles to mainland routes in the pilot exercise and also the Oban to Fall and Tyree ferry service. Focusing on these routes uh, initially will allow us to reach a view on the potential costs and benefits of the scheme and to take informed decisions on the potential impacts across other routes. Consideration will be given to the rollout of RET across the Clyde and Hebrides and Northern Isles networks once the impact of RET has been evaluated. I think some of the Minister's responses are beginning to resemble the, 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 the justification provided by Chemical, uh, Comical Ali during the, during the Iraq invasion. Can I just say, can I just say that these things are not going to be picked up? The people, the people in, order, the people order. in, 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 in Arran and Cumbria are going to be extremely annoyed that some people are getting significant, re significant reductions in, in ferry fares and they are not. People in Mull and Isla are going to be annoyed that, that people are getting significant reductions in ferry fares and they are not. People in all yeah, probably like a question as well, are, going, are, going, are going, going to feel, feel the same way. Now, has the, the, the government picked up the same approach as, as, as Labour had and asked for a four Could we have a question, please, Mr. Ferry fares, they would have delivered something for everybody. Why can the Minister not do that? Minister. Perhaps we now very clearly understand why there are no Labour parliamentary representatives in the Western Isles. The median wage in the Western Isles is £55 a week less than in Shetland. Unemployment is twice the Northern Isles. Over 20 years there has been an 18% reduction in the population of the Western Isles. Whereas in other islands of Scotland we've seen relative stability. Presiding officer, if it's not clear to the member now the equity and fairness and of course delivering on a manifesto commitment made by this government, we have done the right thing by the people of the Western Isles. Yes, yes. Yes. Not only are the people of Marlon Island missing out on the lower ferry fares, but also those on Jura, Butte, Collinsey, Arran, and also the people who live in Dunoon. Now, all those would have benefited from the last government's plans in their manifesto for a 40% cut in ferry fares. But after October the 19th, question, please, Mr. for 30 months, only those in the Western Isles, Col and Tyree will be getting any benefit. Does the Minister think that this is equitable? Minister. I'm afraid uh, the member will need to revisit some of the information he's provided and understand it more clearly. Every user, wherever resident, business, pleasure, local, educational or health journey to and from the Western Isles will benefit from the £22.5 million that is invested in this pilot over the 30-month period starting in October. The 40% cut was a narrow one limited to residents. The key point about the difference is this is a key way of bringing new people to these islands, supporting the economic potential of these islands. I gave you some numbers on uh, median uh, salaries in these islands. It's clear that the potential is there to be exploited. It's clear that the plans we brought forward as a pilot which will lead to our bringing forward conclusions in due course for the 69 ferry routes that are across Scotland. We're leading the way, we'll no finish the job. I've agreed to request uh, a request that Alistair Allen puts a supplementary question in Gaelic. Members will be relieved to know that he will then provide his own translation. Alistair Allen. Uh, 
Uh, not sure where uh, Comic Lally fits into all this, but to ask the Scottish Government what benefits it anticipates will come to the Western Isles, call and Tyree when the RET pilot begins on ferry services in the area. Uh, uh, thank you very much for that uh, question, because the member homes in on the essential uh, part of what we are trying to do. This is about economic development. It is about equity. But primarily, we are creating an opportunity for tourism businesses. We are creating an opportunity for the young people of the Western Isles to feel that there is a future in being in the Western Isles, to tackle the attrition of population, 18% over 20 years, to give hope to the people of the Western Isles. And I hope that Mr. Allen will be able to convey that message powerfully to the people of the Western Isles. I believe they welcome it 100%.